Hi there, welcome back to Taste the Trend. I'm Devin O'Brien and I am about to show you how to make vegan pulled mushroom barbecue sandwiches. Okay, I hear you. What the heck is a pulled mushroom? Think pulled pork, but meatless. So instead of using pork, we are going to use a variety of mushrooms and when thinly sliced and smothered in a delicious barbecue sauce, it's going to have that same look and feel of pulled pork. We're gonna serve them on buns and it's gonna be delicious. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our mushrooms as well as an onion. You can do it this way or this way. It doesn't really matter. All right, now that we have all of that delicious onion ready, we are gonna prep our mushrooms. You need two pounds of mushrooms here. I am using a mix of shiitakes, which I bought already sliced, so the work is done for me on those. And then I've also got some baby bella mushrooms here, cremini mushrooms. Have them and then thinly sliced. Now that we have this magnificent pile of sliced mushrooms, we are going to get all of this onto the stove to cook down and get really soft and tender, and then I'll show you how to make our sauce. All right, next we're gonna heat two tablespoons of olive oil over medium high heat. Then you wanna add your onion and let that cook until it's soft. It's gonna take about three minutes. Okay, now that these are beginning to soften, you don't need them to get brown. You just want them to be soft because they're gonna continue cooking as you add the mushrooms to this. So we are just gonna start adding some of those mushrooms in batches and letting them cook down. So as the mushrooms shrink, you can add in some more and just keep adding them in until they're all in there. Okay, so now that all of your mushrooms are in the pan, you are gonna let this whole mixture cook for about 10 minutes until all the mushrooms are super soft and this liquid is evaporated. Okay, so while the mushrooms continue to cook, we are gonna whip up our sauce. So you're gonna start with three quarter cup of just store-bought barbecue sauce, or I guess you could use homemade if you have it on hand. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then we've got one tablespoon of molasses. Then I'm gonna add just about a half teaspoon of hot sauce and a half teaspoon of ground pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Just those couple of simple additions to store-bought barbecue sauce makes this extra delicious and helps thicken it up a little bit to make it more of a sandwich consistency. All right, so once that is all combined, you can take that over to the stove and add it to your mushroom mixture. Let's go. All right, this is what we're looking for. All of the veggies are super soft and there is not really any liquid in the bottom there. Lower the heat to medium and add in that delicious sauce we made. All right, so as you stir the sauce in, just kind of use your utensil to scrape any of the browned bits from the onions and mushrooms off the bottom of the pan because that has tons of flavor and you want to make sure it gets incorporated. Okay, so now that that is all incorporated, you're gonna let this cook for another five minutes until the mixture, the liquid is nice and thickened. Okay, so now that this has cooked for five minutes, it's looking really thick and glossy. And basically what you want is just something that's not sopping wet because you are gonna put this on a bun. So you don't want it to all drip out or sog out your bun. So I like to just pull it back and see that there's not tons of running liquid. So this looks perfect. Okay, our mushroom mixture is ready to be turned into sandwiches. This is enough to make six sandwiches on whole wheat burger buns, or if you're like me, a gluten-free bun. You just scoop it up, place it on a bun like so, and voila. A pulled mushroom barbecue sandwich completely plant-based, no pork, but it has the same flavor and texture. This is gonna be so good, I can't wait to dive in. It's a little messy, but that is delicious. This is such a good option 
if you're having a barbecue and you have vegetarian friends come in or if you're just trying to add more meatless meals to your diet this is so delicious the mushrooms have a good meaty texture and there's so much umami flavor if you make this at home post a picture and tag me on Instagram. I want to see it. And comment below to let me know what you want to see me make next. Head to eatingwell.com to get this recipe and more delicious recipes just like it. See you next time.